Hey! What's up? <laughs> Out here in Mon today. So early on in our trip, we met Tim, a really amazing guy who was also staying with Ernesto. And uh, he had stayed with Ernesto before because basically he had a successful job in Las Vegas before kind of sort of giving it up and uh, starting a life of travel around the world. So his plan is to travel around the entire world. Um, but uh, he had some really great tips for us for how to save money on eating. 40 pesos, you know how much that is? That's like what? It's like less than two bucks? Yeah. Transporting yourself around the city. And also he even was teaching English in Monterrey. So uh, he was a blast to hang out with and gave us a lot of great advice. And we basically spent uh, a lot of our time with him. Uh, when we asked him where we should go in the city, he said, bam, nice. you've got to go to Parque Fulundadora. I met Sophie on couch surfing and she was really cool so we all decided to meet up to explore Parque Fundadora, uh, Tim as well. I mean how long have you been walking here? Uh, Oh, and you have seen already Fundidora, right? The main, the main building? Yeah. I live here nine months, I, I've seen all Fundidora. <laughs> but you haven't seen Fundidora, right? I mean, this park is called Fundidora because of, of Fundidora, which is where they... Mm, oh, they know. Yeah. Yeah, it's a foundry. Yeah, yeah. that's the foundry. And this whole place used to be the foundry, which is that it's the simple things, Connor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, over in Monterey, when we have this, this kind of sun, it's out at this time of, of the day. So that's why when you told me that like, we are going to Pomidora, what's oh, at 3 p.m., yeah. why? <laughs> Because we're gringos, that's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gringo moment. <laughs> uh, on the way across the border, um, yeah, so our bus was waiting for us, and I was like, well, our bus has got to be farther along, right, by now. So I was like, all right, come on, Connor, it's up there. So we walk up to the bus. This guy with an M16 is like, hey, where are you going? Why are you trying to cross into Mexico right now? Your bus is that way. And our hope, and we look behind us, and everybody in our bus is like, What are you doing? Come on, guys! Ven <laughs> aquí! That is beautiful. Yeah, you can't, you can't swim in this river, but people, I've seen people swim in this river, you know? <laughs> it looks clean. Looks refreshing. I want to drink it. Tienes razón, vender está mal. Mejor conformémonos solo con el consumo personal. Pásame ese gallo, toma más todo tuyo. 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 Quite different, same, yeah. In the same city, like here, people from San Pedro are so different from people here in Monterrey or people from, I don't know, another Saltillo uh, or, or where I live, or I don't know. Mm -hmm. Lots of continuous well, today. Since this is a big park and there are a lot of spots to take photos, yeah, you should probably see a lot of people here with the kids in a dress or the wedding dress taking their photo shoot. How was your quinceanera? <laughs> uh, it was... Uh, I don't remember it was like... Uh, you know so Sophie, being cool as usual, invited us to an underground bar that we would have never found by ourselves to meet up with a really cool friend of hers named Christian. Jack London! 
I just want to call attention to just how much I appreciate that that your flower up there, you, you know, yeah, cool. and 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 how it symbolizes that you keep hope alive even when it's just come long past dead. <laughs> 250 pesos por 5 litros de cerveza. Regio. Right. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I love the buses here. I love it. I love the music that they play. I love, I love how fast it is. I love the bumps in the road. They drive so crazy. Unbelievable. The music is the best part. You can ask questions, whatever you want to do. What's your favorite, your favorite Mexican song? I don't know that song. You don't know any song, any Mexican song? Not specifically. Not even La Cucaracha? You know Cerrito Lindo? That's not even Mexican, I Hasta la raíz. Natalia, la porcade. Yo sé bien que estoy afuera. Ah, sí. Ya que yo me muera. Sé que tendrás que llorar. <laughs> what is your favorite place in Monterrey? Lo que han estado. Paseo de Santa Lucia, perhaps. Paseo Santa Lucia. You know what? We will say. I, I know we can agree on this. Is our, our favorite, our favorite thing in Monterrey <laughs> is uh, is Mount Crumpet. ¿Cuál es tu animales favorito? ¿Qué? Cat, gato. Ballena. 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 A turtle. Ballena. Turtle. No, 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 that's not a turtle. Ballena's a turtle, bro. Ballena. Ballena, Ballena. 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 is a chicken. Ballena. 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 Okay, I, I, I forgot <laughs> that by because in, in Mazatlan the kawama is not kawama, it's a ballena. Oh. And ballena is a whale, yes, he is very good. Okay. 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 Also. Also, there is a lobo. 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 Bear means also in Spanish, but if you say que oso, that's an expression yeah. that, that means embarrassing or something that you that you didn't want to happen. Okay, also. If I start walking and then I feel down, I'm gonna be like, oh, okay. okay, also. Like, oh. Yeah. That's embarrassing for me. Yeah. 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 Alright, now that we have that Spanish lesson, <laughs> my favorite animal is Pinguino. 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 <laughs> if you got a plane ticket to anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? Thailand. Nepal. Hawaii. Hawaii. I would go to Japan. Very clean city. Uh, great culture. Great transportation. Yeah. Plus they have interesting food. New Zealand. Pues ya no hay cerveza. Ya no hay cerveza. Yeah, that was good. That was. Hey. Hello. Salud. Did you like that? Now the only way that you can disconnect yourself from the mainstream media is by subscribing yourself to channels like these in which I'll be sharing more travel videos, language instruction, and gonzo journalism. So please subscribe and if you liked it, give it a thumbs.